guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with another foundation review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a powder foundation. It is the Maybelline Superstay Hybrid Powder Foundation. Now this is sort of a relaunch of the original. I'll link my original review down below, but as always, I'll be showing you flash photo, how it looks in natural light. I'll wear it throughout the entire day so you'll get a great idea if you want to pick it up for yourself. And if you like this type of video, be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. So if you've never tried any of the Maybelline Superstay line, be it either their foundations, the lipsticks, whatever it is, they are so good. Very, very long wearing, whether you're comparing it to drugstore or high end, I just reviewed the Maybelline, uh, the new vinyl shades of their lipsticks swatches, so I'll link that down below. But today, of course, all about the Superstay Powder Foundation. They say it's a new look plus enhanced high performance formula. Don't really know what's changed between the two formulas, but they say it's higher performance. Um, my assumption might be it's a little bit of a like, Mm, we just want you to buy it. Um, so like if you have the original, don't run out and get this. But like if you love the original, perhaps when you finish that, you might want to get this. You know what I mean? That's kind of my take on it. Spend your money how you like. Um, but this says it's the hybrid powder foundation that delivers performance of a liquid liquid with the comfort of a powder. I think a lot of people shy away from powder foundations. They think they're going to look dry. They think they're going to look flat. This one says it has a soft matte look with a lightweight formula up to 24 hour wear. We're not testing that here today, but I will test it out. Uh, and I have mine in the shade 312. I normally wear 312, 315, sometimes 320, depending on the foundation uh, from Maybelline. This comes in, I think they said 16 shades, uh, which is not great. I would expect 20, 24 for a uh, powder foundation, especially something that's gonna be higher coverage, especially considering their Fit Me line, especially considering the state of the world and the amount of skin tones that exist. <laughs> um, but that's a little disappointing. Also to be noted in here is there's only six grams of product, I believe, because I think I was, yeah, six grams, which is not much. When I compare that to a L'Oreal powder foundation, which, you know, don't forget they're made by the same people L'Oreal makes Maybelline um, but this has nine grams of product in here Mac powder foundations tend to have around 11 grams of powder foundation so when you're thinking about the price point which depending on where you pick it up this could range anywhere from like 10 to 20 dollars probably um, something to keep in mind when it comes to drugstore because I'm not saying that this is like any by any means like super expensive but you know gram per dollar sort of adds up a little bit there so Anyways, when it comes to powder foundation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin and I'm going to put on my concealer first, then I'm going to go in with the powder foundation so you can see um, how I normally apply it. Okay, so I actually didn't end up priming my face. I did just moisturize recently, so I'm going to do just a little... I know this is like semi-illegal for my foundation reviews, but just a little setting spray to add a little moisture underneath. Um, and then I've set, I've put concealer on, set my under eyes. So now I'm going to go in with the powder foundation. And it is quite, I don't know if you can see, there's a, quite a bit of kickback or powderiness to it. It doesn't necessarily bother me, but what I think is very interesting is I constantly see, and I know why they're doing it, but you constantly see people, um, you know, swiping a powder foundation on and showing you covers up any trauma you've ever experienced in your life like it's so dramatic right I'm gonna get it it's like a fun entertaining before and after when we need to grab people in the span of a second on TikTok <laughs> but that's not the way to actually apply powder foundation um in my opinion if you want to be uh, having a more natural look if you want to go for the fullest coverage ever sure but that's kind of not necessarily what's in question uh so light layers are best this is a light layer I've got active breakouts right now which are quite painful not a lot just some active breakouts around my hairline um, so I'm just gonna slowly sort of build till I get to a level that I feel comfortable with bring it down the neck I think the shade is pretty good it's a quite neutral not super yellow not super peach which I appreciate definitely on the matte side and I also if you have a powder foundation around don't forget they're great to set your makeup with as well if you're using a liquid foundation you can still use it more lightly to add a little bit of coverage matteness longevity to your look if you want to go with a little bit of a lighter shade you can use a powder foundation to set your under eye or the same shade as your skin tone i i do lighter under the eye so i do a lighter powder under my eyes uh, or depending on your skin tone and what's available, you could also grab one as a bronzer because a powder is a powder kind of for, to some degree as long as you're not like, you know, 
I'm putting in your eyes or eating it, so. <laughs> well, maybe you are, but it's not my business and I'm not liable. Let me get close up and just show you what it looks like on the skin. Obviously, it doesn't look like, you know, super fresh and dewy. So here's what it looks like. I think it looks really pretty. I haven't built it up to like extreme full coverage. That's not really my preference for finish or for coverage, but I think it looks really pretty. It looks obviously matte, which I really appreciate because I think a lot of things right now are definitely going dewy, glowy. And I know my oily skin matte friends want um, some more matte products out there. And I think this is a really nice matte one. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take my photos. I'm gonna do flash photo and apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. I am back with the rest of my makeup on now. And if you're wondering what else is on my face, super simple face and makeup today. I'll link everything down below. I did not use a setting spray today, but in general with a powder foundation, I do use a setting spray partially for just, I use a setting spray every day as part of my makeup routine, but especially with powder foundations, I do prefer the look and the wear of them with a setting spray. And I debate on what to do with them <laughs> and how to how to kind of treat this in a review because obviously the setting spray I use will affect the makeup that I'm wearing but if I'm not wearing the makeup normal to how I normally do then it's not anyways all this to say is I have worn this with a setting spray this is not like my first time trying this or anything so I can give you the full full idea but let me know what you think about using setting sprays in foundation reviews um, but I think the way that this looks um, is really, really pretty. It has that soft matte finish on the skin. I didn't add any extra highlighter because I wanted you to see what it looked like. I did use the kind of a NARS um, blush palette that has a highlighter in it and just sort of swirled it all together, but didn't like kind of spot highlight like I normally would. And I think you can see it has a really nice soft matte look on the skin, especially if you have an oilier skin type. Um, the finish is quite pretty feels really lightweight on the skin. It feels like nothing. Um, so that is really important. And then I'll get a little close up. So you can see what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on. I don't think it looks like too makeup-y. Which I think can kind of be the concern with some powder foundations. Now for photos, <laughs> I didn't expect this to be good and it wasn't great. Uh, here in, in my studio lighting, it's fine. It looks a little flat. I don't have any, you know, it's not my favorite look to be taking a picture of myself that way. Flash photo was tough. Okay, so um, first of all, it feels hard for my camera to focus. So I apologize, it's a little bit out of focus, but when I'm taking a photo in completely dark room, sorry guys, I got totally distracted. I'm also live on TikTok right now. <laughs> Something new I've been doing is sort of like a little behind the scenes. So if you're not following me on TikTok, it's Samantha Jean, uh, YT. You can find me there and do like little lives on TikTok while I'm filming YouTube videos um, as sort of partially behind the scenes. And also I'm trying to grow on TikTok and going live there is important, but there's only so many things I can do in the run of a day. So I'm here trying to do a little double duty. But anyways, in the flash photo, when I, without the focus, whatever, like these photos, I hate them. I hate the way they look. But I think as you can see, there's definitely some flashback. I don't have any bronzer on in here. I have concealer on, of course, that's been set with a powder as well. This doesn't have a ton of warmth in it, which I appreciate because it can look a little too orange in those cases. So I do appreciate that it's neutral and I've added bronzer and whatnot on top. So it doesn't have that same stark look on the face, but it wouldn't be, um, you know, my number one recommendation for flash photography. But I think a lot of you are not taking flash photos in a dark bathroom with just a face powder foundation. Um, and if you are, well, this is the perfect opportunity for you to know exactly how it's gonna look. But anyways, I think it looks pretty. I think it feels very, very comfortable. It looks good on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a few hours and I'll check back with you in some natural light. Hello, coming to you in some natural lighting. It's been a while. I went out on a huge walk. Um, and this is the natural lighting of my apartment. It's horrible. It's very blue. Anyways. I lost coverage here, which I almost always do, especially my nose is running, I'm out walking around. Lost a little bit here where my sunglasses were. Um, a little sweaty, but things look really, really good otherwise. In my opinion, I was literally just thinking about this on my way in, like nothing is 100% transfer proof. You know what I mean? It's annoying. This that's on my sweater though is old foundation. But anyways, I think it looks really good. Still feels really, really comfortable, but I will check back with you in a couple of hours. Oh, that's the sound of a fresh magic bag in the microwave. <laughs> I'm addicted to it. If you don't know what a magic bag is, you're missing out. That sound also means it's the end of my makeup day and I think things look really good. I haven't had, like I've had this on all day, but I did start my day a little bit late today. 
Um, but I think things look really great. I had high hopes for this powder foundation. I enjoyed the original powder. I like the liquid as well. And I think it's really great. A great option from the drugstore if you're looking for something that's gonna give nice coverage, have a good wear time. If you have an oily or acne prone skin tone, skin type, sorry, I think you'll really like it. The lack of shades leaves something to be desired. You know, it's not giving diversity in the way that I would love to see it. Um, but if you can find your shade, I think it's pretty. If you have a super dry skin type, it's not to say that it wouldn't work for you, um, but you may want to use a more hydrating primer or you might just like it to set your face as well. I think it's great just as a setting powder. I love it as well as a powder foundation doesn't oxidize and doesn't get patchy. That's the issue I have with some powder foundations. They're just like something about the formulation of my skin doesn't really work out very well, but this one definitely does. I really, really like it. I think it's a great, um, great option if you're looking for something long wearing and versatile. Um, I think it's really, really good generally pretty solid foundation offerings from Maybelline. So really happy with this, but let me know down below what you think of it. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.